In exercise 5, the owner of Showtime Movie Theatres used multiple regression analysis to predict gross revenue Y as a function of television advertising X1 and newspaper advertising X2. And this was uh, a graphical look at the data and the estimated regression equation was y hat equals 83.23 plus 2.290 x1 plus 1.301 x2 and also the mini tab output indicated that the total sum of squares is 25.500 and the sum of squares due to regression is 23.435 compute and interpret r squared and adjusted R squared. So first of all, R squared, which is a slightly easier formula to work with, it's just the ratio of the regression sum of squares to the total sum of squares, and that comes to 0.919, and typically we we turn that into a percentage, so R squared is 91.9% for this particular data set. And then adjusted R squared, slightly more complicated formula, but we just plug in all the values and calculate it out and it comes to 0.887 which is expressed typically as a percentage 88.7 percent. When television advertising was the only independent variable R squared came to 0.653 and adjusted R squared comes to 0.595. So do we prefer the multiple regression results that we just obtained or do we prefer this, the simple linear regression model? So we would prefer the multiple regression model and the reason for that is that uh, it has a higher value for adjusted R squared, 88.7% versus the 59.5% for the simple linear regression model with just X1.